all-new Yamaha V6 Offshore F-350. It's a featherweight knockout, the lightest 350 horsepower outboard on the water, exhilarating boating and incredible control in a powerfully light design. The Yamaha V6 Offshore F-350. On this week's weekly video fishing forecast, we have striper reports, we got reports around the island, we have an event this weekend, and we have some regulation reminders, very important for you, all coming up. The Fishing News is sponsored by these fine partners. Hey, today is April 11th, and we have some important fishing news for you. The striped bass season opens in less than a week from today. Just want to remind everybody that the regulations are one fish between 28 and 31 inches again this year. That is for striped bass. As for fluke, it's going to be three fish per person. Season opens May 4th, goes to August 1st, that's 19 inches. Then August 2nd to October 15th is 19 and a half inches. Those just went into effect. That's just a reminder for you guys. An additional news item, we have the Belmont Fishing Festival this upcoming Saturday. Great event for the family. Trout are stocked. And if you show up at the festival, you do not need a freshwater fishing license. Come on down and check it out. Check out the latest podcast on YouTube and YouTube Music from The Fisherman Magazine as we take a deep dive with the owner of No Live Bait Needed, Jose Martinez, and discuss how it all started and what's in their future. Those digital issues, they are out now, and we have a preview for you. The last digital issue, issue number six, we have the surf covering the column. Product spotlight we have on the Penn Slammer spinning reels. For fly fishing, we have a fly fishing selection piece on stripers. And for inshore, I wrote up a little early bird tog menu special. Check them out in the digital edition of the Fisherman Magazine. Now we got the events for you. This weekend, we have the Belmont Lake Spring Fishing Festival. That's from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. Don't need a fishing license to fish the lake. It's gonna be stocked up with trout. Then the bait side angle is they're gonna be having a 28th annual Little Neck Shoreline Cleanup. That's on Saturday as well, 9 a.m. through noon. Uh, for more information on that, baysideanglers.com. Then on April 16th is the District 3 Advanced Class, the boat handling. Roll the details, call six, Four six four zero four zero eight eight eight. Let's head on over to the map. I'll tell you what I have been hearing. Captain Junior from the Viking, he said they did have a tough trip on the last Viking trip, but they had some cod. They're gonna give it another shot next week. The pool winner was Audrey Campbell from Shirley. Then Kenny from Tight Lines, he did tell me he heard of some school bass, Towd Point Channel. Uh, Sag Harbor Bridge as well, bass up to 23 inches roaming around. Moving to the west, Mike at Saltwaters, Heard of a few blackfish coming up on the local bridges and out on the reef. Some stripers in the creek. Uh, there was a lone flounder caught in Dickerson's channel. That's pretty cool to hear. Bob from Bob's Bait and Tackle in Amney Harbor. He said there's a lot of schoolie stripers are hitting the soft plastics and small poppers at the docks in the Amneyville area. State channel has fish as well. Local canals, check those spots out. Uh, he did hear there was a few anglers hitting blackfish and cod on the outside reef clams being the best bait for them. Over at High Hook in Huntington, Rob, he told me that bloodworms and SP minnows inside Huntington Bay in Cold Spring Harbor were the tickets for bass. Moving west to that, Blaze from Duffy's. He said Hempstead Harbor, they had similar action on bloodworms and SP minnows again. He did say the chicken scratch color was a top producer. Now, Captain Ken on the Angler Fleet in Port Washington. 
He had striper reports up to 22 pounds as of recent. That's in Fort Washington. Nuno from Tyler, he said there's been a solid run of stripers starting up in the Rye area as well as the western portion of the Sound. Plugs, worms, sheds, plastics, they're all doing great. Uh, he did say green crabs, he had them available to shop and a lot of guys have been buying them so he thinks that there is a blackfish going on in the rocky areas around Rye. Aiden Noble, he sent me these pictures, he said the West End Bridges were producing tog up to 15 inches catch and release on clam. If you do have an oval catch, email me at mbroderick at thefisherman.com. I will try and get into the magazine or the weekly video fishing forecast. Yeah, the Fisherman Magazine, we do have that apparel store open now. We got hats, sweatshirts, hoodies, t-shirts. They're all online now and free shipping with orders over $100. It's a great gift for yourself or somebody that you know that likes to fish. Visit thefisherman.com slash shop or click on the card in the upper right. Meteorologist Rich Von Olin has the weather and his report. Rich. Hey, thanks, Matt. Let's check that weekend forecast. You can always check your favorite apps, weather tools, weather sites, whatever you got. This is a general heads up, general overview on the upcoming weekend. You can always check out uh, Premium Bucktails, too. Good product to have here. I've been using these for the past several years. www.premiumbucktails.com. If you haven't gotten yours already, it's a good product to have in your tackle bag. They work very well for snap jigging. And of course, as the spring striper season kicks in, make sure you got a hold of these. They're really, really good. So let's check out the water temps, see if any good weather heading around the uh, area this weekend into next week. And unfortunately, it's been kind of chilly, kind of rainy and kind of cloudy and the water temps still kind of holding in the 40s. Notice some of those buoys are out there. We had that storm last week. Uh, a couple of those buoys are adrift, the Hudson Canyon buoy, the Ambrose buoy, and uh, still no readings from the, the uh, buoy south of Fire Island. So hopefully uh, Noah gets on that and helps us out here as the season goes on. All right, so the weather is still going to be tough here. Very questionable Friday, Saturday with the wind coming in still from the west, northwest, gusty. Pick of the weekend is going to be Sunday if uh, you can get out there. Perhaps a little window in there with a west-southwesterly breeze. But uh, Saturday going to be honking pretty good from the west, about 20 to 25. Westerly breeze kicked up pretty good. Sunday, again, maybe a little window. West-southwest, maybe 5 to 15, a few gusts in the afternoon. But hopefully that will uh, make for the better day. Still 2 to 4s, 4 to 8s, 8 to 12s. You know, pretty rough on Saturday way out in the ocean and maybe settling a little bit for Sunday. Uh, the surf should be okay, the sound okay, but uh, again, uh, in the ocean, thinking of going out there, it's going to be a little rough, so just use some caution. Saturday highs, 50s to near 60, a little milder, some 60s to near 70 on Sunday. Uh, quick check of one of my favorite apps, uh, the Wind Guru, and you can see all the colors there. Wow, a lot of wind on Friday, 25, 30 knots. Uh, Saturday, eh, 25, 30 knots from the west, and then yeah, Sunday, a little window there. Should be a little bit better, so we'll keep our fingers crossed. At least we can go one for three. Friday's gusty, Saturday's gusty, and Sunday again, perhaps uh, the better day of the upcoming weekend. So overall, yeah, this weather's been kind of tough for us, but uh, hopefully we can get a little break here going into early next week, and hopefully the stripers start to show up. Catch them up, be well, and uh, be safe as always. Matt, back to you. Thanks, Matt. Hey, everyone. Back at it for another season. I've yet to catch my first fish, but... Uh, there have been some fish caught out here uh, in the bay. John Vanderwolf had a nice one on a yellow Super Strike popper in the shallows of Marich's Bay. I fished uh, kind of like all over the bay this past weekend. And while I didn't get into anything, definitely learned something, which, um, you know, that there's bait around, there's plenty of cormorants, there's ospreys. Uh, there's adult bunker and herring in the ocean, although I don't think there's really anything on them. But the show that Gannett's have been putting on for weeks is pretty impressive. So... Once the waters warm up and we get kind of closer towards the end of May, we'll see a bite out there, but we're going to start to have some really good fishing around here, um, you know, kind of going forward. And then we look forward to the blues and the whole bit. Can you tell I'm a little excited that fishing season's here? So it's going to be a great one for all of us. Very excited to share what I get into uh, with all of you guys and and uh, vice versa. And you let us know how you do. On Friday, June 7th, the Manhattan Cup. Each year as we get bigger, we have... A lot more people looking to participate. We have a lot more veterans that we host for the day. These are post-combat veterans that um, have a disability, whether visible or um, underneath the skin. And 
we, what we do is get them out for a day of fishing so they can use that as a force for good on their way down the road to healing. So it's an amazing day. It's at Liberty Landing in Jersey City, which is kind of a hike for some people out here, but it is well worth it. Uh, we are going to be in need of captains that are able to bring their own boat and take out two to four anglers and have the gear for those anglers. We'll supply everything else that you need. Um, you know, breakfast is a is a great spread. We have box lunches, gourmet box lunches for everyone, and an awesome party when we get back with trophies, uh, food, open bar, the whole bit. So really, really a great day. If you're able to do that, please reach out to me. If you'd like to become a sponsor, we have plenty of sponsors in the marine industry. Fisherman Magazine being one of the cornerstone sponsors of this event, along with Yamaha Outboards, Ray Marine, Yeti, Staten Island Yacht Sales, and the list goes on and on. If you're looking to just come and fish with us and support a great cause, reach out to me as well. We'll find a spot for you. We always get it done and uh, looking forward to this one. And thanks so much for the support of people that have fished this before and those of you that are planning to come this year. So, all right, lots of fishing ahead. It's here, finally. All right, back to you, Matt. From Northport, the Cal Harbor Bait and Tackle Report. Wow, the fishing's really cool. I mean, this week's been picking up. We've been talking about bait and everything and like a little slow pick on the fish, but they really turned on the bite this week. Um, we've been talking about it. You know, the weather really takes such an amazing change up here in the North Shore. We're seeing uh, mostly um, a lot of spearing, peanut bunker, adult bunker, and uh, loads of grass shrimp as far as baits in there and all the marsh, all the eel grass in the back of the harbors. Bitch, uh, the river, Nesquag River is going to be like lighting up Stony Brook. I know over here we've got our Oyster Bay, Coast Spring Harbor, Northport, uh, Duck Harbor, uh, Huntington Harbor. Our whole area in here is doing really well. So I bet, you know, as far as Bayville, you're definitely going to be seeing fish along uh, different areas. So it's nice to see it stick with uh, the uh, soft plastics are working. Uh, medium-sized lures you know right now fish are a little lethargic but change your uh, retrieval and some of your techniques a little bit because some areas of water is going to be like 43 degrees and you can go in another spot after a sunny day and find it almost up in the high 40s and these fish are responding accordingly you know this is just a great great time make sure you call the shop because we've got different fresh baits available depending on what fish you know everything's coming on we've got blackfish starting porgy we already have bass I've heard of some uh, bluefish starting to get caught down in the south sure so there's plenty to do a lot of stuff to do and uh i'm really excited you know until next week i bid you all peace and tight line with the fly and fresh water report paul mccain river bay outfitters hello matt well can you believe it it is seven, it was seven degrees yesterday it's going to be 70 degrees today um it's gonna it's gonna be good for a few days and then a little rain but it is april I will be telling you, I see more and more people are fishing uh, saltwater and uh, they're doing pretty good. I mean, it's not gangbusters yet, but it's still April. <laughs> the season opens next week. As far as uh, the freshwater scene goes, well, the rivers are dropping down and I'm hearing they are starting to get some bug action up, up in the North Country, Connecticut. Westchester so it's starting to pick up spring is here the fly and the forsythia bloom <laughs> and that's that's usually my go-to that's my uh that's how I gauge the fishing all right it starts with a forsythia bloom as far as uh, the Kennequat well I was lucky to guide Luca um now he he started fishing about six seven months ago and he's really improved he did a little casting class and we went out but the river was unbelievably flowing it was over the banks it was easy a foot and a half higher than it should have been and if you know the connect you got to cross at two different places you got to cross at 13 and you got to cross again at 11 and both of them were moving pretty good not danger of being swept away but you could tell that the river was up and because of it all the trout were tucked in underneath the branches in the slower water feeding on small midges we tried just about everything but then we switched over to small nymphs fishing them wet fly style let him rise up in the current and we had fish so at the end of the day we had four in the net many break holes because we were using 7x tippet you had to use tiny i'm talking about size 22 nymphs uh but it was good it was this is 
this is the spring, you know? You gotta, and if you find a situation like that, keep changing your flies, keep changing your flies, find what works, and you'll find success. Until next week, oh, one more thing, tonight, tonight, we are having John McMurray in the shop at 6.30. Come in, he's going to talk about striped bass fishing in the New York Bight. Um, there'll be hot dogs for everybody. So come on in, enjoy it. Until next week, tight lines. Three, two, one. Thanks, Matt. Thank God the wait is over. The Rocksteady is back in the water and on the debut charter, it was regular Stephen Bowie that blessed the boat with the first bass of the season. The bass were stacked, but it was a hard bite and all the boats I spoke to said the same thing. Stacked bass that could barely buy a bite, but we got on them and this was the same thing last year. In the beginning, they weren't biting and in a couple days, we were getting 20 bass each. So it's gonna turn on at any moment. It was great to see uh, Rockfish Charters out there with their new logo on the side of the boat looking badass. Saw one more cast, saw Gypsy Charter steaming out. And speaking of Gypsy Charters, uh, Fishing the Atlantic is doing a Gypsy uh, Charter on June 22nd. So there'll be a great group of guys. There's 25 spaces open. Hit up Calvin at Fishing the Atlantic if you want to get a spot on uh, that special trip on June 22nd on Gypsy Charters. Otherwise, it's great to be back. The fish will be in Jamaica Bay soon, uh, which makes for a much shorter trip. Uh, but the bite is about to turn on, so get out there, book now, Rocksteady Charters or any of these other great charters in the area will get you tight. And uh, be safe out there, thank you, and back to you, Matt. Now we're going to swing on over to Max Finch from the Connecticut side of the Western Sound. Hey everyone, Max here from Fisherman's World with another local fishing report. It's a beautiful day, I'm getting my boat ready like a lot of others today. The fish are around, so now it's time to get your boat on the water. I have a feeling it's going to be another early season run like last year. Fishing locally, Nauk River, the Saugatuck tidal part of the river has been really good for bass fishing. We've seen some really nice sea run browns also caught in the mix. Guys are catching them, you know, on SP minnows as bycatch, but if you really want to target these fish, they are around. So if you put in the time, you could be rewarded with one of these unicorns. The Housatonic is still fishing really well. There's fish being caught throughout the whole river now. So we got fish dumping out, you got fish upriver, you know, chasing the herring that are showing up. So if you really want to target some of these bigger fish, the best bet is still concentrate way far upriver, like the Naugatuck and all the way up to the dam. That's where the, uh, the river herring are going to run up to the spring and the bass are going to follow them. Down at the mouth, this is a really good time of year for you fly rod guys to really get on the action. You know, there, it's not uncommon to have like 30, 50 fish days when these fish are really dumping out. Sinking lines are really good with the clouser. That's the best bet, you know, trying to get these fish. Short beach, the sandbars are really a spot, good spot to try. Uh, to the western sound, we've seen some fish to, you know, push in the mid 20 pound range on the troll. The guys are trolling umbrellas and mojos. These are most likely fish that are gonna make the run up to the Hutton and spawn and then come back down. And then locally, the blackfish bite. We've heard of some good bites. You know, not a lot of people are out yet, but you know, the fish are being caught I would say in that like 10, 15, 20 foot range. This is the time of year where, you know, they spawn, so they come in shallow. Remember to try to release the females, you know, to preserve our future fishery for the blackfish. On the freshwater side, the trout fishing's fishing really well. You know, the state's been stocking the past couple weeks in our area, the Mianus, the Saugatuck, the Mill River, the Nauk River. Uh, Georgetown area has been good. It's all catch and release right now till this Saturday, then you can start harvesting. And also the Saugatuck Reservoir will op also open up this Saturday. Thanks and good luck. All right, we have less than a week from the official opener for striped bass season. And the fish are here already all around the island. We're all super excited for it. Remember, Belmont Lake Spring Fishing Festival this weekend as well. Maybe I'll see you there, but see you next week otherwise.